Uh, we got a question from Conley. Do you notice a link between a strong squat and running, jumping, hurdling performance? Before we even get to the rest of your question, it's one of those classic depends questions. I mean, if you got somebody who was born to hinge, which probably is going to be a better sprinter. To me, sprinting is a hinge. It's a pound. It's a you beat the drum on the ground. If you uh, <clears throat> most squatters, um, most squatters I've ever dealt, dealt with, like these Olympic lifters I used to know as a kid, were really good. Like at vertical jump, you know, we'd have these little vertical jump contests. They're really good at that. And in certain sprints, they were really good at too. But um, they were really good, like, out of the blocks. And then things kind of got a little wavy after that. So uh, I think it's a lot that depends on how you're born. If you're a born squatter, squatting will probably help your sprints. If you're a born hinger, hinging will probably help your sprints. If, you know... Um, I don't think you're going to find a lot of really, really, really short sprinters. I mean, you certainly will find some. But I've noticed, you know, through through my career, is that sprinters tend to be about from this tall to about that tall. They're in that kind of window of height. So, you know, I don't, if, I don't know if you're English numbers or uh, American numbers or uh, meters, but somewhere between 5'7", five, 5'6", five, and about 6'2". Generally, are your your faster sprinters? Usain Bolt, of course, was taller, and I'm sure someone has an example of someone who's shorter. Um, for six months, I stopped squatting and focused on deadlifts, presses, and pull-ups. And my road work, my oh, okay, this is um, see so you say road work mileage took a hit. When I added squats back to my training, performance seems to improve back to normal. I'm wondering if you had any training or coaching experience would suggest a reasonable squat is necessary to maintain the engine. Well, you, you know, I, the, the thing is, the second you said road work, and then I looked, I had to go back and look, and you said running, jumping, hurdling. Uh, unless you're running like the steeplechase, the, the need for road work is minimal. Uh, jumping, unless you're doing like a Spartan or one of those races where they have to hop, climb things, yeah, the need for road work is minimal. Um, I think this is one of those questions, Connolly, where what you're saying, what I'm hearing might not be the same. But in your case, and this is important to keep in mind, in your case, it seems to help. So you almost by definition should keep them in. Okay. Um, what helped my sprint sp speed is getting my snatch and clean and jerk to freakish numbers. And it wasn't from the squatting; it was from the it was from the big pulls. So, there you go. Thank you. That was a good question. Uh, if you want to do a follow up with just a little bit more clarity, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, thank you.